Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. Very excited to be showing you this video. It's been done for a little while. I just haven't finished editing it completely and um, I just have been working on some stuff. So anyways, here it is. Um, I'm going to be showing you all my drawings from the Marvel Drawing Challenge. This is the challenge that I made up. It went from March 1st to March 20th and it was really fun, but there are some things that I learned from it and things that I thought I should share with you. Um, I ended up I think three days I did not finish and there were just certain things about this challenge that were different than some other ones so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the drawings and talk about them and then I will get into the tips and things that I learned from doing this challenge all right so let's get right into the drawings um, there's the prompt list if you haven't seen it um, I did follow it every day, but I did mix up a few of the prompts. So anyways, day one here is I did Black Widow. I think this is probably my favorite one of all. I think she turned out super pretty and I love the way I used pencils and markers in the same drawing. All right, here I had actually gone to the eye doctor and could not see what I was drawing. Um, so that's how that turned out. It's Thor, uh, just not my favorite drawing. Um, this one I did with colored pencils. It was a drawing of Civil War. I'm really not a fan of that one at all. It just didn't turn out how I was wanting it to. But over here is Loki. I actually did this on paper and taped it into the sketchbook, but it is also one of my favorites. Um, I think it turned out really cool, and I love the green and the purple together. I think it just makes the colors look really nice. Alright, here is Tony Stark. I did this with some India ink and a dip pen. Um, I think I made a community post about that, so you've probably already seen it, but that one turned out pretty good. Here is Gamora. I did her with some alcohol markers. I think her hair turned out super pretty, and I actually just really like this drawing. I think it's really cool. I like the pose and everything. Here um, I did a drawing of the Avengers. Um, this one, again, did not turn out like I was wanting it to. I did not spend the time necessary to complete this many characters. I just did it too quickly and it didn't turn out right. All right, here is Bucky or the Winter Soldier. I really like the way I did that with the Uhuru brush markers. Really quick and simple, but it looks nice. Um, and over here is Peggy Carter. Again, I feel like I could have done better and taken more time on this, but I'll get into a little bit more of why I didn't have time to do this challenge after I show you the drawings. Here's Wanda and Vision. Um, this is on the Halloween episode of the TV show WandaVision, and I really like this. I think it's super cute. It turned out great. Right here is Captain Marvel. This one, not my favorite. The hair's a little off, face is not quite right, and the colors are just a little bit weird as well, so not my favorite. And these next two pages are definitely not my favorite, so I'm going to flip through them very quickly. Just really was having a few off days there. All right, here is Thor and Loki. This is like your funniest um, moment from the videos, or the movies, I mean. So um, this was like from Thor Ragnarok. I drew a scene, really funny. I think that's a cute drawing. Um, here, I think it was like the saddest scene or something. I don't really remember the prompts, but I drew from Infinity War, Spider-Man and Iron Man. Really sad drawing. <laughs> right here is Valkyrie from Thor Ragnarok. I think she turned out good. I did her in colored pencils and I don't do that that often. So a little bit uh, patchy with the colors, but it's not bad. Um, and here was turn um, your favorite actress into a different character or something. So I drew like Gal Gadot as a wasp. Um, it kind of looks like her, but kind of not. I don't know. Um, so that's all the drawings for today. I hope you liked looking at them, but I am gonna share a few tips um, from doing this one of those tips being, I was not prepared to do a challenge like this. This is a 20 day challenge. Um, that's pretty long. I know it doesn't sound like it, but drawing straight for 20 days and not just doing like a small sketch, like adding line art to each of them, that's a big task. And I kind of just came off of another drawing challenge, the February drawing challenge about a month ago. So it was just kind of a lot at one time and Marvel characters are very detailed when it comes to like their outfits and stuff so it was taking a lot of time that I didn't really have. Um, I was very busy, I've had a lot of school stuff um, for some reason like lately it's been super busy with school stuff and I just honestly did not have the time to be doing these drawings every single day but I wanted to make sure I finished the challenge because I made it up, I shared it with you guys 
and uh, I knew some people were following along and I feel like I was going to let everyone down if I did not complete it and um, I probably should have just taken the time to um, do what I could even though I did miss three days I probably should not have done some of the other drawings that I did hopefully that makes sense um, so if there's a drawing challenge even if it's something like Inktober or Mermaid something official if you're not completely ready for it don't force yourself to draw because you'll kind of burn yourself out on it I haven't been drawing as much lately because that challenge was just so much at one time I needed a little bit of a break from it so um, be careful when you join challenges and things like that um, where you're forcing yourself to draw every day drawing should not be something you have to do and that's kind of what I made this into um, it was more of a chore than something I wanted to do that's why the drawings did not turn out very good because when I'm really enjoying drawing and spending the time to do what it takes to make a good drawing they turn out nice and when I don't want to they turn out like this so uh, you need to just be careful of that and try to just do what you love and do what you can and if you have the time to do a challenge like this it is super fun this was a good challenge to do I just wasn't uh, mentally uh, prepared for it I guess and I didn't have the time to do it but uh, hopefully you've learned something from this I definitely did and I thought that I needed to share it with you guys this definitely wasn't my best work ever at all but um I thought it was something to share hopefully you guys could learn something from it thank you guys so much for sticking around till the end if you're new here please subscribe to the channel if you're not new welcome back and give this video a like and I'll see you guys in another video goodbye